ready up. Three, two, one. Hey folks, and welcome back to Explorminate. This is Battle Mode, and I've got with me Drexy and Sean, Frag Tactics. And we're actually playing Warhammer 40k Relics of War, Gladius. And we're this is a three-player game. We've got we're all playing kind of the Imperium factions. So we've got myself as the Astra Militarum, Drexy here is the Space Marines, and we've got uh Sean playing Adeptus Mechanicus. And we are a team of three. We've got three AI players facing us. We've got the Orcs here in green, we've got the Tyranids here in pink, and we've got the Chaos Space Marines in purple. Uh, this is actually the second time we tried to record this because we played it <laughs> just we played about five hours of it before and we got our asses kicked <laughs> we had so we had the uh the difficulty on very very uh, on very hard which is usually what i kind of play this game on when i'm playing multiplayer with people but uh, i don't know why we just we just got we got absolutely wrecked so um, we're going to drop the difficulty down to hard and we're, we're going to try it on this one and just see how it goes um, just for reference usually i find hard a little bit too easy but uh, we've made a few changes to the game that should make it a little bit more difficult. One of them is we've increased the size of the landmass here to high. So there's going to be less choke points. And especially against swarming factions like Orcs and Tyranids who pump out a lot of units. This is going to be quite difficult to deal with because they'll be able to flank us. So, uh, and this is this is part of the problem. I think this is one of the reasons why we lost them very hard was because they just threw so many units at us and we weren't really ready. So yeah, let's uh, let's kind of get on. So... Basically, we've got everything in here apart from the Lord of Skulls. I've turned that off because I don't like it, and uh, it kind of just throws you a really, really hard unit, um, and it can come up at the early game, so I just don't bother with it anymore. Uh, everything else is just on medium. Uh, it's just completely, completely vanilla game. So let's get into it. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, good. Uh, I will preface and say that I'm pretty new to the game. <laughs> I'm yeah, probably the most inexperienced out of, the, out of the three of us. So, yeah, if we lose, just blame me. Well, no, it, <laughs> it was my fault that we lost last time because I kicked over the hornet's nest a little bit too early. So, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. Right, where can we put a city? Ah, oh, now this is a better start for me this time. Like, I got a really brutal start last time, but this one looks worse. We better. are a fair way away from each other. <laughs> we are? I don't know. It was about the same as before, wasn't it? Oh no, we're where on the we... opposite sides. Where would they be though? E... I yeah. reckon. So I reckon somewhere like, on the other side. Because yeah. there'd be one opposite me, I guess. But then where Probably the other like two? Probably like one here, one here. I have no idea where those pings are going. <laughs> Can you not see them? Okay, yeah, it's well, they're a little bit too dark. They don't show on the mini map, so it's... no, they do. They're just really dark, and uh, that's the problem. Okay, let's have a look at these starting positions. Sean's in some kind of um, desert with some savanna. Uh, Drexy's in volcan uh, volcanic area. That's all good for you. And I'm in, oh, I'm in some grassland, which is really nice. So, yeah, that last game was really, really difficult because I was I had such a bad start. Okay, so, yeah, where should I put my first city? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. I think first I need to move some troops. So, for anybody who's not played Dra Gladius a whole lot, and, you know, Drexy's already heard this advice but i'm going to give it him anyway keep your units together at the start of the game uh, they don't really want to be moving around in you know uh, separately because they will get picked off quite easily uh, let's just have a look where we can found the city uh, this is nice this has got research though uh, i think i'm off to a decent start here so i've got a couple of points of interest I could take straight away. I got the city founded. Uh, for research, I'm going to go for the Skitari Rangers, because it seemed to be a good right, good unit with that little bit extra range that the Skitari units tend to lack in the early game. So uh, I'm going to prioritise that. Yeah, I think I'm... I've got low... Right, this is alright where I am. But I think I'm going to move it up. Uh, maybe here. Okay, that's... It's not a good place. I can't actually see what... The, my problem is that I can't actually see what's around me. I might just delay putting the first city up just for one turn. Um, yeah, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I did that because I'm actually um, surrounded here. It's not the best place. Never mind. Uh, what shall I get up first? Let's get a research up first. It's not going to make any difference because I can't get any research out for a bit anyway until i got a city up. 
So I'm on a nice little choke point, but be quite easy to defend at least. At least until the uh, flying units come out. How are you guys getting on? Let's just have a look where they've put their cities. Okay. So we've got Arx Mortifer uh, with Drexy's city. And that's the only city he gets because the Space Marines, they only get one city. And then we've got Output Cam 8 <laughs> for the, the Adeptus Mechanicus city up here in the north. Right, I'm good to go. Chaos Cultists up here in the north. Okay, I do need to get a city up this turn, so where am I going to put this? Ah, be really bad. I'm just going to stay here and overwatch them if they approach. Oh my god, there's more hybrids down the bottom. <laughs> Jeez, it's already started. That's it. Uh, maybe I'll get it here. Maybe there. That's, that's not good, is it? I'm going to have to get one up this turn, I think, because otherwise I'm... Fall behind a bit, yeah. Yeah, I'll fall behind. Fall behind a lot. Let's get one up here. I was just thinking, should I move a little further back just in case there's something in the ruins? Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. What are we going to get first? We're going to have to... I think we want, I want to go research first as usual, so get this one up here. Sean's already getting decked. Yeah, he's not taking the advice. <laughs> Splitting his units up like, oh, I don't care about that. <laughs> nah, it'll be fine, I'm sure. No, That'd I just wanted to get to this uh, fermentation pool over here, and I was just like, you know, I'm going around the outside of the ruins. It should be all right, shouldn't it? And no, okay. <laughs> Uh, my guys can post here. up here anyway until they recover. Anything that tries to attack them, I think it reduces the range damage as well on this tile. So, yeah, increases damage reduction, healing rate. Yeah, that'd be great. Now, it'll be interesting because we are. I think there's there is a chance that we might get an AI faction in between the two of uh, the three of us, possibly somewhere. Uh, I'm not certain about that. There might be one like up in the top right corner there, above Drexian to the right of Sean. Or there could potentially be one to the right of me and south of Drexy. Um, so yeah, but I think more likely there's going to be one here, left of me. There's going to be one kind of here. There's going to be one up here. So uh, the, the kind of like roughly analogous positions to where the, the three of us are, but on the other side of the map. Uh, there might be one kind of in the middle-ish, kind of sort of opposite where I am. You ready, Drex? far back. Oh, yep, sorry. No worries. <coughs> the other reason that I was actually quite happy to restart this series, by the way, was because I was coughing so bad through the last one. And I was when I was editing the videos, I was watching them, and I was like, I don't think I can put this up. <laughs> it's like a really bad cough. Okay. That's right, Drex. Get those neophytes. <laughs> That's a bit less forest. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get up a research building, I think. Oh, well, I should be able to kill these without them running away. It's first for me. Research, I think. Yeah. What I might do this time is double up on the infantry production building so I can really crank out a ton of infantry. It's good early. for the production as well. I, I can't remember what the Adeptus yeah. Mechanicus building's like, but it, I, if I remember right, it's got a production bonus, hasn't it? I uh, believe so. Yeah, production, bonus, food, or an influence. Yeah. yeah. That might be the way to go this time. Double up on that. Crank it. Just crank out units every two turns or something. I'll have to cycle these guys back. Oh, boy. What's happened? <laughs> Wait, oh, devil, there's more. Devil layer. Uh, you'll be all right. Just um, probably don't attack it yet. I don't think you'll be able to kill it quickly with those. I don't yeah, know, I maybe. might move my guys back next to Because <laughs> uh, it, it's rarely... I, I don't think it ever spawns without at least one Catachan Devil, so... Yeah. What are you guys thinking about doing as a build, by the way? Have you thought about this at all? Or... 
Uh, well, uh, I definitely want to get my heroes out way earlier than I did last yeah, time. Yeah, me too. That was a real mistake for me, actually. Yeah. So for the uh, the guys watching, yeah, we I don't think any of us have really played this a whole lot recently. So it's been a while since we've kind of like figured out any builds. So I think that this time we're going to try and think about it a little bit more carefully and try and come up with some builds that are going to be... Well, they're going to work, <laughs> preferably. Okay, let's kill these hybrids. There is something to be said for not expanding too quickly in this. Um, yeah, well, you can't really explore like you could in something like an RTS or even I think a lot of 4X games because you'd just get destroyed so Yeah, quickly. you can't just and race out, can you? you? I mean, you definitely have to... Uh, killing some crew hounds, look. Um, yeah, you, you definitely have to be a little bit careful with a rapid expansion in this. However, there are nice goodies around, you know, like these... The outposts that you can pick up are worth having. So, yeah. I, I think you're fine to expand, providing you are expanding with enough stuff that you can defend yourself with. Like, I start with three units of guardsmen, which is enough to kind of defend one another. But, um, yeah, they're, 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 they're not the strongest of factions, let's be honest. Oh, I really need to look to see what's in my east as, as well, I think. The other thing to keep an eye on is loyalty. Uh, that kind of got us all, didn't it? And yeah. um, also, not building enough cities at the start of the game. Uh, that was another uh, problem that we kind of ran into, I'd say. Here's the orcs. Already? Bloody yeah, yeah already. run into the orcs yeah. already. Wow. Okay, this is going to be yeah, an interesting maybe you game. Should have, maybe you should have went the other way, to be honest. Explored I'd, the... I'd, because you know like, they won't be to the right. I don't know. Way. They might be. It's possible that they they uh, they could be there. All oh, right. I thought we they kind of group you on the same side. I don't I know. I don't think so. Game. I'm not. I'm really not sure. Actually, I really don't know. I think it's possible it could do that. Oh right. no! Look, I've got a robot. Oh, <laughs> Your castellans oh, already. Wow. Well, no, no. You're gonna need devastators before you can do don't anything. Don't shoot with them. it. Just, oh, just walk. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm running. I'm running. I'm just, running. Just just walk away. Its vision is based on movement. <laughs> yeah. I'm running. I'm running. Uh, right. Which doesn't make sense because you're running away, but whatever. Um. <laughs> okay. What can we get up next? I'm gonna go the. I might go the marshal early, so I can get that out and start leveling it up because it's very powerful support unit. I think that's a lot of what the Mechanicus rely on is support units to buff them and just make them do insane amounts of damage. Okay, let's get this one up here. I'm gonna go for the infantry building first, I think. Oh, more goddamn orcs. Yeah, it looks like I'm in a scrape with the orcs early on. Back. Guys, oh, I've lost the unit already. I didn't yeah, even see what I, I didn't even see back. what happened. They just didn't even see what happened that time. Uh, that's what annoys me about this game. It jumps around and like you miss stuff. Like, yeah, really I missed bugs me. some things that died last game. It's kind of annoying. Oh, they're just shutting down some chaos cultists up north. Oh, I can't move my guy. To move him into the city. Yeah, oh, this got a cool soundtrack. I went for a research build, unfortunately, and I've I've ended up with enemies right on my right on my butt or right at the start of the game. It's kind of brutal, but it's only on hard, so I reckon I can manage it. We'll see. Imperial barracks up here. I've taken one trader encampment. I'm just going to move back to heal up. Because I'm starting to get surrounded. There's crude hounds, there's uh, some chaos cultists to my northeast. So okay. just trying to be really, really careful. And um, there's a ruin of all up the top that I want to try and get to next. Do you get two units to start with? With these Skitari yeah. vanguards, yeah, not three. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Get overwatched. <laughs> nice. I, I kind of turned that around because if I'd gotten near them, they would have overwatched me, but then they've I've drawn them to me. <laughs> Good job. Doesn't always work like that, but I'm glad it worked this time. Okay. 
it's all right. It makes me look like I actually know what I'm doing. But the orcs actually uh, moved back, <sighs> so Ooh, that's pretty bad. Heavy weapon squad, crack grenade. I'll get a tech priest out early. Maybe. Wait, not. you damaged these recruit hounds. Was that me earlier on? I don't know. Yeah, run away. Thanks. <laughs> I saw them slope off there. <laughs> Don't want to deal with two of you at once. No. That was a short turn for me. Let's see what these guys are doing. Oh, these guys are going to run away, aren't they? Oh. I should be able to kill them, hopefully. Um, I think I'm in a good position to be able to fight against the orcs here because I've got a massive load of choke points. Like I can, I can basically put my troops in these. There's a, bunch, there's a there's a line of ruins, three hexes of ruins in a row. I can put them in there, and then if they overrun me there, I, I've got several layers where I can fall back. Okay, I've got the manufacturer room. I can't remember. Do crude hounds get Overwatch? No, they can. No, no, they don't. I don't think. All right, I might just kill this lot now. Hang on. Oh no, there's two. <laughs> Leave those guys in Overwatch, I think. Oh, Worth it. I, I just one-shot them. <laughs> How close are we to our population limit? No, not quite yet. So, gosh, that was a quick turn. Drexy's still playing. Right. Yeah, so, so just... I'm sorry. No, no, uh, no hurry, mate. I was just trying to figure out who to look at. That's all. Um... What have you got around here? 10, 20, 20, I definitely want to put one. I'm looking at, look at Drexy's uh, city here. So far he's got the librarium up and the refectory and the orbital relay. Oh, that's what he starts with. It says so the Great Hall. That's interesting. Did you start with the orbital relay and the Great Hall? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I got the labour camps and the Basilica administrator. Okay, that makes sense. Right. Here come the crew hounds. Uh huh. That's gonna hurt. Yep. There we go. I knew that was gonna hurt. I didn't realise there were two when I went up there. Yeah. A lot of them died just from my um, rad poisoning. Anyway, these things are great. And I'm just going to kill off the other squad now. Yeah, I'm I'm in a I'm in an okay position to defend myself if I get swarmed by the AI. Uh, so far, they've not sent anything else down this way, so I've kind of stumped out my territory a little bit. I think we'll see though, because you may find that they just kind of come up with me with everything they've got. I think when you're playing the AI, the main issue with the, the AI being a bit too easy is if you try to play against the AI and leave it fighting against each other, because then it can really struggle, because often it'll be fighting one of the other AI to a standstill, and you'll find that, you know, you've kind of come to them and they're, they're just beating each other up without going anywhere near you. But when you put them in a team, they don't really have that problem. Oh, I definitely want that cleft leaf. Drexy, your mic's pretty loud, mate. I'm getting quite a lot of noise off it whenever you're activating it. Yeah, it could be... I think I'm going to take this compressor off. Causing more problems than anything. Yeah, maybe. Webway gates. Sounds like you guys are getting up to a bit more mischief than I am. Drexy's just shooting Eldar gates. Looks like the enemy's running off. Yeah. They're heading out my way, I think. Maybe they got mad because I just killed a bunch of their friends up here. Oh, I saw something move up here, but I'm, I'm just fired about that was. robot, whatever it's bloody called. <laughs> I 
I was queued up a bunch of infantry too. My second infantry building will be ready in one turn. So yeah, I'll have it down to about three or four turns per unit. I'm going to go for two barracks as well at the start. I think it's going to be a good, that's a good choice. Uh, let's get a heavy weapon. We got rattlings. Move my guys back. Uh, let's see what's at the back of this place. I'm going to go for the hub block already. Oh no. Uh, so growth is six turns. No, we don't need the hub block yet. Maybe I go for the Rattlings instead. I do like Rattlings a lot. I think they're one of the um, Imperial Guard's best units in the early game. Okay, I'm going to push this way and see if I can figure out where everyone is. I don't want to go too far this way. Ah, oh, there's the Orc base. Okay. So the Orc base is really close to mine, guys. It's literally... One, two, three, four, five, six. It's about nine hexes away from my base. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if we can somehow help you take them out early. I don't know if we can really do it at this stage, but maybe. Could do. Um, once I've got artillery, I can basically hit. I can hit his base from, uh, and he won't be. Uh, yeah, I think I've got this, guys. I think I'm just looking at the terrain between the two of us, and I've got a nice choke point. Uh, if I could kill it before they start sending over flying units, that'd be nice. John's has built another unit. Um, more Skitiari. Oh no, Skitari these are rangers. rangers. Yeah. That's cool. That's my trader encampment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go any close, anywhere closer towards that uh, orc base. I'm going to leave it there because I don't really want it to come and attack me early. Let's go with the heavy weapons squad here. change your mind. Uh, got the Cult Mechanicus. Let's leave it at that. Fine. Save us the uh, Space Marines. Here you go. Well, that's what I'm researching next. you got a decent amount of space around you, Drex, haven't you, by the looks of it? Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad, actually. <laughs> a lot better than last time. Yeah. I'm going to have these guys hiding in these ruins. Okay, Orc City discovered. Can you guys see this down here? There's, it's a green blob on the uh, map. You can see yeah. where they are. Oh, yeah. I can see the edge of it, yeah. The yeah. ruin of all there. Yeah. Ooh, that's that's cool. really, I mean, I'm I'm kitted out to kill Orcs once, once I've got a little bit of research behind me. Imperial Guard do quite well against Orcs, if I remember right. I've just backed up my rangers because they're not really equipped to deal with crude hounds very well. Uh, and I've put my vanguards up on this hill. I don't know if you can really see that it is a hill. Oh, yeah. There's two squads of Chaos Cultists back here. One's in the Ruin of All and the other one's back behind it somewhere. Oh, yeah. So I'm hoping if I can do what I did last time, sit up on the hill and have them come to me. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Crude hounds retreating. Yep, got another vanguard squad as well. I've been looking, I haven't really seen any of the wildlife. That last game we played was brutal with the wildlife, man. Really, really brutal. Okay, I'm going to send these guys. I need to move these guys. Sorry, I think. Put them in there. Get some rappings out. Oh no, maybe just an old guardsman. Oh, that worked out well. So the Chaos Cultist got an Overwatch shot on me, but I was already inside the Ruin of All. Took basically no damage. Nice. And you'll heal it next turn. Yep. I'm trying to play a bit smart here. <laughs> it seems to be working so far. That's funny. You see, you've got that little... You just had to run down like an embankment. It's quite hard to see that embankment um, unless you actually scroll the camera around a little bit. Or you've got the... Yeah. Uh, You've got the orange indicators on, like I always have, because I, I can't always see those. Yeah, it's sort of, unless you're really looking for it, it can be hard to see. Yeah, but yeah, sort of trying to take advantage of the terrain as much as I can here. <coughs> That's something that really bugged me about the game initially, actually, that I wasn't, I wasn't able to see those, and it wasn't until I turned that indicator on that I really started enjoying it, because I kept finding that I'd run up, you know, to a. And we're like, why can't I move down there? And then it was because there's this sort of 
this in, this escarpment there, and I just couldn't see it. Ooh. Oh, that hurt though. Yeah, that one hurt. Okay, I'm just going. I'm chewing through this research as usual. Got up here, outpost. Oh, I'm not a fortress here. Oh, yeah. hello. Some rumbles just chilling there. Whereabouts is that? So, way over to the. Oh, yeah, I see. Right. So you've just put down a fortress of redemption. Yeah, <laughs> they just uh, appeared. That was a good. I mean, you should be able to kill them with that, I reckon. And there's some uh, wild Actually, those things there, have got so. quite a nasty. They've got a. Uh, Quite a nasty attack, although they, well, they can't the actually get to my units, which is pretty good. Nice. Order City, start pumping out some tactical space bullets. Yeah, I go for the fortress. How did they do plus two there? Oh, I got some enslavers. Okay, let's back off then. Nice. Uh... Took zero point three damage from the chaos sculptors, and they are dead. These guys are going to run, aren't they? Okay, what yeah. building next then? Um, I probably want the loyalty building already. I reckon. Or we could get the hero one. That will give me an extra loyalty point now. A good one to go with. Will I chase this guy down? That's the question. I need to get some food production going, like now. Um, it's a problem with these guys. If ideally you want to build the same sort of type building type on the same tile, yeah, otherwise you get a loyalty hit. They're actually quite challenging to play, aren't they? The the uh, Astra, whatever they're called, the Deptus Mechanicus. Like I remember Daz Tactic was saying he felt that they were the they were probably the most advanced of all the races. I thought Tyranids were quite hard to play. But I think a lot of the a lot of the DLC factions are actually quite have unique challenges, let's say. I quite enjoy them. Like they seem to encourage sort of almost fastidious kind of play. <laughs> which kind of ticks my boxes of just liking to organize things. Yeah, but then right. when you when you treat when you play them right and buff and you get those buffs going, they just do incredible amounts of damage. They're very powerful. If you know you know, if you know how to support them well. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean you saved my ass in that one game. <laughs> oh, oh, more enslavers up top. It's not going to get to attack me though, I don't think. No, I'd it didn't. Away. I'd probably run away from those. Unless you think you can kill I don't think you can kill them with what you got there. We're going to find out. I can at least lower the morale. Why can't I yeah, see? Careful, because he might just steal one. Oh. Just watching Sean kill these enslavers. Uh, interesting. I'm going to bring down the Marshal and Ranger to support anyway, so even if it doesn't save one, it'll be dead in the next turn anyway. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to bring everything to bear on that. I don't like the Enslavers. <laughs> no, I don't either. They're, um, I consider them a must-kill. <laughs> yeah, kill on sight sort of thing, yeah. Yeah, kill Not on wrong. sight. So we got f plus five food. Uh, what we got? We got plenty of other resources. The only thing we really need is energy. Maybe I get a heavy weapons squad coming up already. I'm going to research the Scorpius Dune Rider. I've never bothered with that Gosh. before, but I'll give it a go. Oh, they attacked you. I noticed that these guys don't yeah, really seem hurt. to use their enslaving ability that much. Have you noticed that? I don't know if they've had a bit of a nerf or something, or maybe they just don't. Enslaved, I think, yeah, they they uh, used to do it all the time. They used to do it like every it's... single time. 
Like yeah, yeah. I think it relies now on your morale already being below a certain point, and if it's not, they can't do it. Right, I see. So yeah. it's sort of yeah, you need to already be weakened a little to be, to make it work. Oh, I see. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, right. I've got two. There we go. Got him. Uh, what do we need? We need energy. Can I, I kill these guys, here. please? Nope. Could be five up keep. Nope. It's just gonna run away again. I'm gonna go for this one first. Right, guys. Um, when you've finished your turn, yeah, I'm done. We're gonna we're gonna end the episode. Here comes oh, the look, slavers. Hello. There we go. I'm just getting with the Overwatch. Can they do anything to you from the water? I'm assuming yeah, they can. They're floating. What was that? Okay, guys, we're going to end the episode here, so uh, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think about the series so far in the comments section, and we'll catch you next time. See you later, guys.